We're all used to cats and dogs and maybe even hamsters as pets. But did you know that there are some other pretty unusual and gosh darn cute creatures out there that you could take home with you? From a surprisingly fast reptile that can live for a hundred years to a giant rodent with webbed feet, here are 15 of the cutest pets you can legally own. Number 15. Capra Hercus, the Domestic Goat Now, cute as a little goat may seem, they can also be a downright pain in the butt. So before you consider getting a goat, here's some things you should know. All goats of any breed like to live in herds, so you're going to need to get at least two of them, or you'll wind up with a sad and lonely Billy No Mates. Goats chew up everything, so you need to think carefully about where you put them because they'll eat your flowers, your trees, your laundry, maybe even your car. Make sure they just have plenty of space with grass or hay. Dwarf or pygmy goats are smaller than other breeds and make good pets. These fun, lively animals are good company, but they need a little bit of training and can be a lot of work. So sorry to butt in with the boring stuff, but even though owning goats is legal in many places, make sure that you check your own local laws because some places restrict farm animals from city centers. Otherwise, if you have a big enough space, enough spare time, and a budget to go along with it, goats can be good, fun pets. Not for everyone, but hey, whatever floats your goat. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Domestic Pigeon Not the same as the ones that sit on people's heads in city parks, domestic pigeons, or doves, have been kept as pets by people for centuries. Usually the kind of bird that you can keep as a pet is a rock pigeon. There are a few different breeds that have been developed to have different skills. Homing pigeons have traditionally been kept as racing birds by hobbyists. If you fancy a new hobby in the niche field of pigeon racing, then these may be the ones for you. Homing pigeons have the ability to find their way back to their home from distances as far as up to 1,000 kilometers away. And they don't have satellite navigation, just a built-in bird-based compass. These clever birds have also been used throughout time as carrier pigeons to send and deliver messages because of their great navigation skills and the ability to travel at speed. Some heroic war pigeons have even carried essential messages across battlefields, with some of these special birds receiving medals for bravery. Domestic pigeons and doves need a secure enclosure, safe from rodents and predators. They also need clean water and food and space. Fascinating to watch, they're an unusual choice of a pet, but can be absolutely dovely companions. Number 13. The Tortoise Although it is legal to own a tortoise, there are different laws regarding tortoise breeds and how you get a hold of your pet in the first place. The laws about tortoise ownership vary from country to country and even from state to state, so you're going to want to be sure to check out what the situation is wherever you are in the world. The humble tortoise is a lovely pet. They're reptiles, cold-blooded, and they're going to need to be able to bask either in the sun, as they would in the wild, or under a UVB light. For tortoises to be able to control their temperatures, they need an outdoor space with areas of light and shade and a safe, comfortable place to rest. They're mostly vegetarian, although some types do eat insects in the wild, and they do need to eat a lot of leafy greens as well as space to forage. Tortoises have a reputation for being slow, but they can actually cover a fair distance in a short space of time. Some breeds can even travel up to five kilometers per hour, and surprisingly, they also like to dig. So you're going to need to make sure that your pet tortoise doesn't dig a tunnel and hot foot it out of there. A tortoise will entertain you. They're funny little characters, and although you can't really cuddle up with one, it's impossible not to enjoy being around these extraordinary animals. And don't forget, a tortoise might live for up to a hundred years, so you better have a plan in your will if you're old. Number 12. The Tarantula 
Tarantulas can be awesome pets, or your worst nightmare. Depending on whether or not you're scared of spiders, these massive hairy spiders are pretty easy pets. They're rather clean, they're quiet, and they're also gentle, ideal creatures to share your home with. They're exotic animals, and that means they're going to need a certain amount of special equipment and slightly more of an unusual diet than your run-of-the-mill cat or dog. Tarantulas can live for over 20 years, so taking one into your care is an absolute commitment. You'll need a safe enclosure for them to live in because they don't hang around together, so if you have more than one, you'll need to keep them separate. Also, these guys are like eight-legged Houdinis. And if there is ever a way to escape, they're going to find it. So if you don't want to give your roommate a heart attack, you'll need to find a secure way to keep your pet contained. If you're looking for a cuddly pet that likes to be handled, the tarantula may not be for you, although some owners do have no trouble with their arachnids crawling all over them. These creatures do have a pretty painful bite. They're also known to have barbed hairs that they're able to release if they feel threatened. These hairs will poke into the skin, cause itching and discomfort, and it's a bit like getting poked by a cactus. Number 11. The Pig George Clooney famously had a pot-bellied pig named Max. Clooney would often take Max with him when he was filming, no doubt to the uh, delight of people working on the set, I'm sure. This pet pig, although cute, is rumored to have been the death knell for several of Clooney's relationships. He obviously chose his piggy pal over the various beautiful women that he's been with. And really, who wouldn't? Pigs are actually awesome pets. The trickiest thing about them really is just their size. There are lots of stories out there of people who have bought a little piglet and brought it home, all with the assurances that the animal is a miniature breed, only to discover that that cute little piggy just kept on growing and growing and growing until they're actually sharing their apartment with Pumbaa, and he's hogging all the covers. Anyways, if you do have the space and a lot of love to give, a piggy pet is a great companion. These clever creatures can be house trained, just like puppies, and walk on a lead like a dog. But they do have a variety of needs that can be trickier to meet. Although we generally think that pigs will eat anything, they actually need a particular diet in order to be healthy. They should be fed with a special pig feed and not only with the sorts of foods that you eat. Your mini pig might not really eat too much, maybe a few pounds of food a day. If you have a surprise sized pig, then they can put away up to seven pounds of food per day. And that's gonna make a lot of really stinky pig poo. Number 10, Hyacinth Macaw. Now this is a pet for the professional animal owner. This beautiful bird is not for the faint-hearted, and taking one of these extraordinary creatures is like having a full-time bird care job. The hyacinth macaw needs a big space, and they're really good at lockpicking and prison breaks, so finding a suitable cage for the bird can be a tricky business. Generally, they're going to need a whole room rather than just a cage, and they can be quite a handful. See what I mean about it being a full-time occupation? Their massive hooked beak is a powerful tool that these birds will actually use, so they need to be trained. But fortunately enough, hyacinth macaws actually like to learn and will usually enjoy the social interactions that they have with their owners. So it really does make training fun. They'll want to spend a lot of time with you. and will quickly start acting out if they don't get enough attention, which is fair enough, I guess. The hyacinth macaw is the biggest of all parrots and can grow to sizes almost as big as a bald eagle. These birds are quite easy to train, known for being great companions, and will form a strong bond with their human, which is fortunate, really. Just look at the size of the thing. Number nine, Kinkajou. This unusual pet is also called a honey bear. They look a bit like monkeys, probably on the account of their size and vaguely similar features, but they actually have more in common with raccoons or red pandas. An exotic animal that hails from Central and South American rainforests, it may be legal 
to own a kinkajou, but this varies from state to state in the USA, and it could be possibly illegal elsewhere in the world. While they are no doubt cute, there's something just a little bit strange about owning a wild animal in a domestic setting. I don't know, perhaps the fact that Paris Hilton has one of these little animals as a pet is what gives me alarm bells. What do you think? Unlike her usual handbag-sized dogs, kinkajous are used to living in trees with masses of space to roam around and a wide variety of foods to eat. Whether as a pet owner you can offer a little honey bear these things or not will vary from person to person, I suppose. That all being said, these animals are a massive commitment, extremely high maintenance, and they're extremely messy eaters, along with being very difficult to house train. So just because Paris Hilton's doing it doesn't mean it's a good idea. Duh. Number 8. Squirrel Monkeys Oh, look how cute. Squirrel monkeys. Although they are cute, they do have some extremely uncute habits. So you may want to hear this before you take the plunge into the world of monkey pet ownership. During the 1960s and 70s, little squirrel monkeys were wildly popular as pets, and there used to be no real restrictions in owning them. But ever since 1975, it's actually been illegal to import squirrel monkeys into the USA, though it is still legal to own one as a pet in many states. This is not a really a bad thing. Owning a primate, though, is seriously challenging. Monkeys can't really be house trained, so they usually need to wear a diaper. Someone's going to have to change those monkey pants. Oh, and if they do ever wear a diaper, that's not going to really stop them from throwing their poo at you. That's right, monkeys do actually throw their poo. and they won't listen if you tell them that it's not a polite thing to do. These little guys are super demanding and will definitely kick off if you're not entertaining enough. So this squirrel monkey is one tough crowd and it's going to let you know exactly what it thinks. And you already know that these monkeys like to throw more than just tantrums. Number seven, capybara. The capybara is the largest of all rodents and is certainly pretty cute. These snout-nosed animals are quite mellow and not really the worst choice as a pet, although you should beware, it's only legal to own a capybara in some United States, not everywhere. Some places require a permit or a license, others simply just don't allow it. So be sure to check out the situation thoroughly if you decide to bring one of these animals home. Speaking of which, these guys kind of do prefer to live in groups, so they're likely to be happier in pairs or even more. They also actually need a fair bit of space to roam around and a pool of water as well. They're great swimmers because they have webbed feet. These animals can be tamed with great success, and if they're reared as domestic pets, then they're likely to live quite happily in a household, provided that their needs are met, of course. Capybaras eat a fairly limited diet of mainly grass and hay, so they need plenty of opportunity to gnaw at hay or wood in order to keep their teeth in check. If you do want a lower maintenance but super cute alternative to a big capybara, you could try a guinea pig. Number 6. Chinchilla These cute, big-eared, furry rodents make absolutely great pets. A different sort of pet, because you don't expect them to act like more domesticated sorts of animals. The chinchilla can become very tame over time and will make close bonds with her humans. Unlike the other animals we've seen so far, a chinchilla is going to be happy enough as a single pet as long as they're well loved and have all of their needs met. Chinchillas come from South America. They're active little creatures and are also nocturnal, being most busy at dusk and then again at dawn. Their really soft and thick fur is designed to keep them warm in their mountainous habitats, and that means that if they're kept as pets, their owners need to be extra careful that their chinchilla doesn't get too hot. These playful little creatures are going to need a few toys, but remember, they chew up everything, so don't give them something that they shouldn't eat. 
Another thing that these little rodents like is to take regular dust baths. This is how they look after their special fur and it's essential to their health. So you're going to have to get your feather duster out if you want one of these. Number five, hedgehog. Certainly not the obvious cuddly choice of pet. A hedgehog is definitely unusual, but also very cute. Can you keep one as a pet though? Or perhaps the question is, should you? Hedgehogs are wild animals, not really bred to be pets as such. Although a few folks out there do breed the prickly little mammals. It's true that some humans have been able to give hedgehogs a lovely home. but there are some serious issues with keeping these cute creatures because they need a lot of looking after and not like more domesticated sorts of pets. In the UK, it is actually still legal to have a pet hedgehog, but there are strict criteria that need to be met. These things are not possible in reality for most households. In fact, the RSPCA, an animal protection charity, does not recommend that a hedgehog is kept as a pet. They state that, as a wild animal, a hedgehog need the sort of freedom to forage for live insect foods and to cover a surprisingly long distance in their nocturnal wanderings. This is generally not available in a domestic setting. Living in a cage, not really suitable for an animal like this. Of course though, if you're extremely keen on hedgehogs, there are ways to encourage these incredible creatures into your garden where you may be able to enjoy watching them go about their hedgehoggy business without the need to actually own one. Number four, the Bengal cat. Now, <laughs> this is a pet that seems really better as a fit for human habitats. It's incredible to look at. The Bengal cat is a domestic breed. Wow, glad this one's not in such tricky territory for the animal lover. Its distinctive physical features are rather like wild cats, and its extraordinary markings give the Bengal cat a really amazing appearance. Originally a cross between a domestic cat and a leopard cat, this cheeky breed actually looks like a mini leopard. <laughs> But despite its wild style, this is a breed as friendly and gentle as any other pet cat, with a nature to delight the whole family. Ooh, meow. Bengal cats are climbers. They're going to clamber up to the highest point in a room. They're super athletes, and these agile felines have been known to do some incredibly tricky maneuvers, so they're entertaining to watch as well. They learn really fast and can even pick up some funny habits around the home, switching lights on and off and even figuring out how to open doors. These energetic animals are going to keep you busy. Oh, and they might even learn to use the toilet if they're given half a chance. Number three, sugar gliders. What is a sugar glider even? Well, let's find out. Turns out a sugar glider is a small marsupial you know, like wallabies and kangaroos and stuff. These funny little creatures look a lot like a flying squirrel. They have skin that stretches between their paws and their sides, and this is what helps them glide through the air rather than actually fly. Weird, huh? These little guys are actually really sociable. They usually hang out in a big group, so you shouldn't even consider keeping just one. They're going to need lots of other sugar gliders for company, or they may just get really depressed. Nobody wants a depressed sugar glider. In the wild, sugar gliders eat a really varied diet, which features loads of different insects, sap, gum from eucalyptus, and acai trees, along with flower pollen and nectar. It's very tricky to replace this wild diet in a domestic setting. People often feed their pet sugar gliders with too much fruit. Unless you have trees and flowers and insects in your home, it might be that you aren't able to offer the sugar glider exactly what it needs to stay super healthy. They're going to need loads of space as well, so they can exercise and not become overweight or weak. These cute little creatures, they may be some of the most time-consuming pets out there, but just look at that little face. Number two, rabbit. After some more than questionable choices, here comes a cute animal that actually makes a fabulous pet. Fun and active and super cute to boot, 
There are so many different breeds of rabbits that make great pets for families. Rabbits do need a little bit of work to look after though, so you need some commitment and time with playing with them or keeping their space clean along with great amounts of care. Such entertaining and playful little creatures, rabbits will often become very attached to their humans and can be lovely companions, and some are even good at being house trained. so they can be kept indoors. However, you proof your home at first to make it safe. They're going to need lots of toys, some to chew on as their teeth continue to grow, because they need to be able to gnaw in order to avoid their teeth becoming overgrown. So, if you have more than one rabbit, and they do like to live in a little group, be careful, because they have a tendency to breed <laughs> just like rabbits. Number one, ducks. Ducks are really super cute characters and are a really great pet, but you need to know a few facts about these birds before you go diving in and bringing one home. Ducks really do need to spend most of their time outdoors because they're not house pets. You can bring them inside at night, but it's probably just a great way to keep them safe from predators like foxes. And these animals are definitely the outdoorsy type. They also like company, so unless you're a duck, they're gonna need a couple of other birdie buddies. They're really clever, so they'll learn to follow simple commands and may even play with you. They're even pretty cuddly as well. There is one thing that's not really so cute about ducks. They poop a lot. So wherever you're going to keep them is going to get messy and really gross. Some duck owners actually do use ducky diapers on their pets to avoid the mess, and these need changing like every four hours. Really though, if you have to put a duck in a diaper, <laughs> it may not be the right pet for you. I mean, did you ever see one in a nappy at the park? I guess that owning a super cute pet like any of these may be legal, but some of them are a heck of a lot of work. What do you think about keeping exotic animals as pets? Would you like to have one? Or do you have one? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.